We're out in the woods. We've made a little decision. The two of the girls are um, up at the house finishing up canning stuff. Kind of moved this way. Um, so we're just going to take down a few trees. I'll show you what we're going to do. And then I'll show you probably like a before and an after of that, okay? So that tree that he just has there. Then this one. These couple. And this one are all coming down today. And then this pile here, we're going to try to get the branches off and such and buck up. So we'll be able to bring them up another day and get them stacked like we're doing here. The new saw comes in tomorrow, so it's pretty exciting. Doing this back cut there. And then the kids over here. I don't have you. The kids over here are taking logs and stuff and putting them on this big slash pile. We did not throw those big logs onto that slash pile. That was from the logging company that came out, but we are just grabbing all this underbrush log type stuff and throwing it over onto that slash pile. That's what we're working on right now. Lucky we'll cut these. This is the very back of where we want to clear. The chainsaws that we have are fairly broken, not working well. So, um, so I can't wait to have the next one tomorrow. I'll help them out quite a bit. He's evaluating this way. It already looks like it's falling. And then he's choosing to make it cut that way. He has a good eye for it. Like, oh no, mom, you're videoing me. Victoria, step a bit back, please. Go over the other side. has a lean going sort of my way. It could easily twist that way. So see that I step out of that direction.
Okay, we're back. Um, so we've got some, it's been about an hour. So we started about, I left the house at 1.10 and right now it is 2.30, um, but it did take a while to walk up here. So we've probably been out here for about an hour. He got those, was that five trees, Josh? Was it five trees? Yeah, so we got the five trees down that um, he was cutting down. I think that I got video footage of that, so I'll try to add that. And I'll just show you where we're at with stacking and stuff. Both the chainsaw and our electric chainsaw both ran out of steam, one out of power and the other out of gas. And we didn't bring gas up here, but it's okay because I have to go back and feed the baby and start to get supper going. And they need to do like afternoon chores as far as milking cows and all that farmy stuff. Okay, so here we're at. This little girl's getting a snack because mommy brought snacks. They cleaned up a bunch over here. We started, we stacked some not cedar logs here. And then we have this cedar there, more cedar in between here. This is just a little bit closer. I should back up kind of where I was before. It's a little bit different, but not really. So this was the area that had those trees. Um, so we have these trees left to do and the brush surrounding them. These are a pile of like four to five foot cedar logs. This is not cedar, four to five feet. These are heavier rounds that we'll need to get cut and split. That's cedar. Um, here's the brush pile in the back. It's gotten pretty big and lovely. I bet the deer are going to love that. And I did start, before they started cutting them down, I did start say, taking some of these logs. So there was some of these just in, I don't know if you can see, they, they're in the ground. The um, logging company kind of just threw stuff down and there was some cedar and maybe in here you can see. So there's some logs that are still good in there. It's been two years, but some of them are fairly good still. So I stacked some of those here, see like that log right there will need to come up and out and then those so I stack some over here so pretty much the big part of the trees are done that's along to there so um yeah, that's what we got done for the day. Not bad for an hour. We'll try to come out here again for an hour tomorrow. If it's not raining, we're going to go up to the house and we're going to go up to the house and see what's going on with the canning. We still have, this is the same day that I am filming the squash and the turnips. So those are like rotating in the canner as is pumpkin is rotating in the canner. But it's been an hour. I fed the baby before I left and then I came out and then I'm going to go feed the baby again. Normally I just bring the baby out with me, but I'm just tired and the ground is wet and I didn't want to uh, like trip and stumble and fall with her on me. And I didn't like trust myself not to do that today. So she's up there. I do have my phone and a lot of times we bring walkie talkies out. So if they need to contact us, then we're just a call away. So there's two girls back up there um, and they're taking care of those things as well as the three youngest children who are six months, two and four. And so that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.